Okay, here we are with our next lesson uh, in this Introduction to Python course. This is a lesson on string variables. Okay, so in our previous lesson we learned how to print to the screen. Uh, we printed, we used parentheses, and then I used uh, double quotes. So we call this lesson three, uh, string variable, oops, string variables. So string is just fancy computer talk for uh, some text. And that text could have numbers, it can have symbols, it doesn't have to necessarily just be letters. Okay, so we have spaces and colons and that sort of thing. So whatever we put into the pr uh, quotation marks is echoed at our uh, terminal over here. Okay, so let's uh, learn some of the different string methods and different things that we can do uh, with, with strings. Uh, so the first thing actually is uh, I'm going to make a string variable. Okay, so variables are like x and y in uh, mathematics. So, but they're not limited to just numbers. So, in a, a string variable, of course, is going to contain text. So, just like in our print statement, we got to put our text inside of some quotes. And so, I'm going to use uh, a name here, uh, Smith, and I chose that because I'm a big Cure fan. Notice it's the variable name equals, and then the string in quotation marks. Now the thing here, name, did not have to be name. Uh, I could have called it M, I could call it, or N, I could call it X, or, you know, I call it anything I want. I, I, it has to start with a letter and cannot have any spaces in it. Okay, so that's some of the rules. Um, we'll call that name. So I'm going to print the name. Okay, so name. Now notice, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll do it this way first. I'm going to do it with quotation marks, and I'm going to click Run, and you see how it printed name, okay? That's because the name is inside of quotes. Anything time it's inside of quotes, it's going to be printed literally as it is. But because name is a variable, I can print it uh, just like that. So name is this name. This name equals this, so it's the same as if I had taken this and put that inside of there. So let's run it, and we should see Robert Smith on the screen, which we do. Okay, so score one. Uh, okay, now, strings. Uh, strings have a length. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to print the length of name. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. We have one set of parentheses. That's for the print statement, just like we had here and here. Then we have the length function. Okay, which gives us how many letters are in the name. Now we'll see len later, uh, it has different meaning depending on what's inside of the parentheses, but in this case, because it's a string, it's going to tell us how many letters there are. So let's count it. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Space is counted. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we should see a 12 when we run the program. And we do. So score 1. Okay, next. Um, so as you saw earlier, I did print name, okay, which gives us the actual word name on the screen. But what, where it comes in handy is here, where I can do, for example, name. I'm going to leave a space. And just like we saw before, I could do this. It's called, again, string concatenation. I'm combining strings. So I'm going to run that. Okay, so we got name, Robert Smith. Um, now there's different ways of printing and, and combining strings in Python. So I'm going to show you a couple of these. So we got name, and I can put percent %s. It'll come as no surprise, s stands for string. Okay, And then over here, I'm going to put percent %name. Okay, it's small. Okay, So you notice this name is this name, so we're just using the same thing over and over again. So this percent %s, so whatever's here, replaces what's here. Okay, I'm going to run that. We should see the same thing. Okay, so these two statements do the exact same thing. And there's a third one, which is actually our preferred method. So I'm going to put name. I'm going to use, these are called braces. Okay, and I'm going to use the format method. Now the format method has lots of different things you can do with it. Um, but we're just going to stick uh, to the simple basics for, for this tutorial. Uh, oh, notice here uh, how capital N-A-M-E and small or lowercase N-A-M-E came up. Uh, capitalization counts in Python. So this name and this name are two very different things. So let's let me try this. If I had printed, if 
I made that name a capital N. Okay, you see there's a little error thing pops up because it doesn't know what capital N-A-M-E is. It only knows what lowercase n is. So let's hit run and see what happens. Okay, so we get an error in line 7. It says name is not defined because we never said what name is. It's trying to print name, but we don't know what it is because lowercase name and uppercase name are two different things. Okay, that's quite a common error to, for beginners in Python. Okay, so it is the string dot format name. So this name is going to go into these parentheses. Okay, so again, we have the same exact output each time. Okay, now, it gets a little bit interesting. We have something called string methods. So I'm going to... And we've already learned one, format. And now this is not all the string methods, but it's, you know, introduction. So if I type in here, for example, H-E-L-L-O, oops, it's a string, so it's got to go in quotes, and I type dot upper, and don't forget the parentheses at the end, okay, it's going to take this string and make it into uppercase. Okay, so it transformed whatever was here into uppercase. So if we have an upper function, we probably have a lower function. Uh, if you said that, you'd be correct. And dot lower, parentheses, let's run it. So it transforms the string into its lowercase counterpart. Um, I'm going to make a new variable here. I'm going to call this a title. And I was just listening to this sound, this song the other day, so when I was typing this. So this is listening to the uh, disturbed cover. It's pretty good. So I have a couple more string methods here. So I'm going to say print title. Notice title is not in quotation marks because it's a variable, just like we did with name up here. And I'm going to do something called capitalize. So title capitalize. And I'm also going to do print title dot title, which is kind of interesting. It's just a coincidence. So this title is our variable. This title is a string method called title. And you'll see the difference here in a second when I run that. Okay, so notice capitalization only capitalizes the first letter of the string. Title capitalizes all of the words in the string. So that's kind of a useful uh, function to have, okay, or that function method they're going to use interchangeably. A um, couple uh, other things we can do here with strings. We have something called string, well, technically just slices, but something called a slice. And a slice is just what it sounds like. It's you're cutting it up into different pieces. Um, so I'm going to try a couple examples here and explain it as I go along. So let's say you got good morning. And to do a slice, I do brackets. These are brackets. Okay. Um, these are braces. These are parentheses. It's a big difference. It's very important, especially in Python. You'll see them used uh, in very different contexts. So if I want to just print good, Okay, so I'm going to do 0, colon, 4. So what this is, and this is where it gets a little bit counterintuitive to what you're probably used to, is when we're counting the, the letters in a string, we always start at 0. So G is 0, O is 1, second O is 2, D is actually 3, the space is 4. Okay, so this is my starting point and my ending point. But let's watch what happens so that we understand exactly how it works. Okay. Notice it came up with good. Actually, maybe it wasn't such a good example because you're thinking, oh, the space is there. Trust me, the space is not there. Um, so it's actually, I wanted 0, G, 1, 2, 3. So it's 0 to the ending plus 1. But it's actually not printing the space. Okay, so you have to take my word on that one for that one. Um, so if I want to do morning, I would say print. Oops, got don't forget the parentheses. Yeah, good morning. Again, after the quotation marks, the brackets, and I'm going to start at 5, and I'm going to go to 12. Okay, so because 12 is the actual last character. Or actually, 12 is actually the length, which is kind of interesting in and of itself. So I'm going to run that. Okay, so good, and the second one printed morning. So it started with the M, because it was... 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it started at 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
goes to 11, you have to add 1. Okay, but it's also it's also the 12th character because you know we started on 0. Okay, so you got to kind of wrap your head around that one. Um, we can also do this type of thing, and I'm going to use title this time, and I'm just going to go colon 5. Okay, if I don't put anything here, it assumes it's a 0. So that's going to take me from the start. I can do the same thing on the other end. Uh, so let's say I'm going to go actually 6 to 8, and I'm going to print 9 uh, title uh, from 9 to the end. Okay. So remember, our title is actually Sound of Silence. So I'm going to print from the beginning to 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And remember, it's always plus 1, so it's not actually going to print the space. Then I'm going to do 6 to 8. So this is 6, 7, plus 1. And then I want to do 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And it goes to the end. So let's try that. Okay, so good morning, sound of silence. Okay, so that is string variables, uh, some string methods, and slices in a very short time. So go ahead and have some fun and practice that on your own.